Today I'm going to share some quick tips about multiband dynamics with you. And multiband dynamics is a very, very complicated little plugin. All I'm going to do uh, today is use one preset of this little um, complicated plugin, and that's called multiband compression. You get it by pressing on this little triangle here, and then just you know moving it on uh, to wherever you want to use it. Now, in this first application I'm going to show you, we're using it on the master chain, and uh, we're using it for a quick master because let's face it, you're now mastering engineer, and uh, for those quick mastering processes, or, um, or just no, showing off a demo or whatever, this is really, really great um, because it does quite a lot of stuff way better than you or I would. Uh, so uh, that's really awesome and it suffices until you get it ready uh, for a mastering engineer. When you want to release it, then he can do his magic on it. But until then, this is really awesome. I'm just going to play you, I don't know, 20 seconds, 10 seconds and show you what this actually does. Uh, I'm turning it off and I'm um, starting the replay here and I'm just going to switch it on and off again while I'm playing. Now you can really hear a difference here. This uh, plugin knows exactly where you made your mistakes. It pushes back my mids because I went way overboard in my mix here with the mix, uh, mids and um, adds in a little bit more highs because, well, I have um, not that much highs in here actually and it repairs my mix a little bit here and makes the sound really, really uh, more pronounced and a little bit more, um, well, a little bit more balanced in this case. Now, let's take a look at another case. Now, this is a very different uh, piece. I wouldn't probably go ahead and let it master because it's just a little bit of my um, me uh, messing around here. And uh, I'm just going to disable anything on the master except this little compressor. I've loaded this in so all the dynamics get um, a little bit compressed. It has a really long attack and really long uh, release time so we won't lose it mu as much. I just want for you listeners on YouTube uh, that you don't have to turn up the video and turn down the volume of the video while you're listening to this so you get a uniform volume uh, That's the only reason this compressor is here and um, just listen to this it really sounds kind of great and especially listen for the voice here Now I'm going to turn on multiband compression. I think it's me who wants to be free. And it's you. Love me. You who needs to be free. Or is it you? Love me too. Now you can really hear the difference here. It's kind of subtle, but not really because the, the voice is already very, very powerful, uh, very prominent, and um, it's really awesome. But w w in the moment when, when we activate multiband compression here, it really does wonders to the voice. It actually um, increases the highs a little bit, brings down the mids a little bit, and makes this voice even more powerful, even clearer. It's, it's really awesome. But that's not all we can do with this little multiband compression. We don't actually have to use it on the master bus. I'm just going to show you another neat application for this. Now, this time I've used multiband compression uh, on the uh, saxophone bus here uh, of the song. And um, the difference here is that uh, the only change I made to the original preset here, if I just load it up again, is I brought down this compression here all the way which basically removes all low end uh, of the, of the uh, saxophones here. It's basically almost the same as applying a low pass, uh, not a low pass, but rather a low cut. And um, that's the only change I made. I'm basically using in every single example here the same multiband compression uh, um, preset here. And um, just, just listen to this uh, saxophone here without uh, multiband compression. I'm going to solo it for you. It's very aggressive, very in your face, 
But if we enable multiband compression, it even uh, it brings up this quality even more. Listen to this. Now, uh, if you just uh, listen to how it sits in the mix, it's uh, this without, and I'm just going to turn it on and off again while uh, I'm playing it. It really does change quite a lot in here and uh, you can see there's a wide array of uh, actual um, possibilities here uh, in which you can use multiband compression. Okay, that's it for now. I showed you how to use multiband compression and showed you it's a really, really little useful plugin and um, I personally don't really use much of uh, any uh, presets to be honest, but this is one of the exceptions where I rarely modify anything so it fits me for example I cut out the lows like I did there in the last example here or I increase the volume of the highs or the bases or whatever but I don't do much to this and um, multiband dynamics is actually a very very powerful plugin and um, if you want I can do another video on it and show you how, how all of it works uh, because it's really really uh, really advanced and it has quite a lot of possibilities to do but uh, before I do that, I uh, want to thank you for watching today. I hope you learned something. Uh, I hope you try this little multiband compression plugin out for yourself. It really does wonders for me. Hopefully it does for you too. And I wish you a very, very nice day.